What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. I am Hayden and today guys we finally got the yard cleaned up a little bit. I mowed it. It's winter time. It's gonna die off. But as you guys saw in the thumbnail and title, it is officially fall here in Arizona. Got down to uh, in the 40s last week. We gotta get the tortoises ready for winter time. That means we got a heat set up. One of the big challenges I have with that is going to be breakers at my house, not liking all the heat lamps and uh, everything plugged in, but here we have my beautiful girl Jules, Champ being a freaking turd like usual. We got Albie, and honestly, this tortoise has been sitting here all freaking day. Is she trying to lay eggs? I don't think she's trying to lay eggs or did any of that madness, but she's literally been sitting here for like, three or four hours and hasn't moved. Guys, I got ADHD, I struggle to keep on one task, but the weather's getting cold, so we gotta talk about keeping the tortoises winter warm out of the cold weather. As you remember last year, we built this beautiful structure here that has done an amazing job. It worked really, really good last year to obviously keep the tortoises nice and warm, um, and then we have this shelf up here, which is super dusty right now, that I may or may not put some tortoises in. I haven't decided quite yet if I'm going to, but this here just kind of keeps circulation, and believe it or not, I turned this fan on middle of the winter last year, and I never turned it off this summer, and it's still working somehow, so kind of amazing. But this is our beast behemoth of a... Uh, a wall heater keeps everything super super warm in here in the winter we got to talk about temperatures 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 people always ask me what point do you need to keep your tortoises give them additional warmth right my general rule of thumb is if it's below 60 at night and it's not going to warm up above 75 during the day you should definitely give them some supplemental heat at night if it's below 50 a hundred percent give them heat but let me give you an example here. Last week, we had temps that were down in the 40s and 50s, and it was 80, 85 during the day. So I 100% did heat. This week, we have temperatures, keep in mind guys, end of October, we've had temperatures of 90 to 95 degrees this week, and temperatures in the lows of the 50s and the 60s. Temperatures in the low 50s, I turned the heat on a couple days just because it's been over 60, about 60, 59 to 60 degrees the last two nights. I did not turn on supplemental heat for these tortoises because frankly they didn't need it and look at how all acti how active they all are. Everyone is awake right now. Well, you can't see them over here because they're all on this side of the yard right now, but everyone's awake right now. So I'm just not super worried about it with those temperatures. You can definitely go outside those boundaries, right? If it's below 50, I always do heat. 55, it's gonna be warmer during the day. But, you know, I may I may be a little bit more uh, sparing on that one. But I wanna show you guys, this is my ideal way for heating my adult sulcatas. This used to be their old heater, which now is kind of a trash can and nothing else and it's been blocked off. Um, but there, I used to hang a bunch of ceramic heat emitter lights up in there and that's insulated. I've got one inch foam on all the walls and on the ceiling. And that worked out really well and we may multi turn that into a uh, use for something else. Holy cow, Champ almost got me. That's really crazy. Um, so you can tell those are the old lamps that they just trashed. But that's how I choose to keep my tortoises, my adult tortoises warm. And the reason I like to keep them a little bit warmer than I probably need to is because it keeps them active. It keeps them growing, it keeps them flowing, keeps their metabolism up, and I don't know, that's just kind of my personal preference. Next option would be keeping them inside of a really, really messy reptile room. This literally drives me insane, yet I just don't do anything about it because I got a thousand other projects that are on my mind. Oh man, the water's gross in here. A little bit of an algae bloom, it looks like. I'm um, gonna have to deal with that. But this is how I choose to keep my tortoises warm. This is the albino Herman's in here. This is, well, there he is right there. His name is Goku officially. I decided I liked Goku, so he is named Goku. Um, 
I give them a warm spot and with a UVB. And I'll tell you, most of the time, they tend to sleep a little bit farther from the heat. But you can tell right now, during the day, we've got two females dug in over there, and we actually have one right here. And I will catch them. This is a very warm light, and it's probably lower than it should be. But I, I catch them basking on it, basking under at least one tortoise a day. And for these Eastern Hermans tortoises, I definitely am going to um, keep them warm this winter. Normally you want to give them a cool down. It helps their reproductive cycle. But these guys are still juvenile, so I'm kind of just looking to more uh, put some more growth on them. So they're going to stay heated. Here we have some holdback albinos and stuff like that. They're going to stay right here. This is like my new favorite way for small groups of albinos. I elevate this mesh a little bit. We got a ceramic heat emitter, which is doesn't give off any light or anything like that. And then I got this UVB, which I've been a really big fan of these T8 UVB bulbs lately. They've been working phenomenally. Then I just keep this nice and moist. You can keep a couple different, you know, a couple animals in here without a problem. That's what I'm doing here. And then we have sulcatas in here that they've got a big space. I've got a heat lamp over here. The UVB I've got to replace. It just got went out over there. Something like this, this is nice and warm. It's a little closer than it should be, but again, this is just temporary because these guys get shipped out. But that's how I keep my tortoises warm, guys. Again, those parameters of it's gonna be below 60, have heat on them. They don't necessarily need it during the day because they can go bask and warm up in the sun, but you need to have heat on them. In the only, only scenario that I say you don't need to put heat on your sulcata tortoises, trying to avoid shadows here in the winter, People are gonna, people are gonna get on me about it. I already know, because I used to be very, very different. We've talked about burrowing, guys. This group of yearling sulcatas has massive burrows. Like the quantity of dirt that's been moved here, out of this burrow here, light in the, you can't even tell. It goes so far back in there that they're deep enough underground to where they're gonna stay at an ambient temperature that is much above whatever the ambient temperature is out here. Only time I'm gonna worry is if we get probably into the 30s, I will pack the front of the burrow with hay and that will help keep the wind chill down and keep them warm down inside their burrow. But that's about it, guys. These tortoises in here are gonna live in here all winter. I'm not gonna do supplemental heat. I will be honest with you, this is the first time I've done this. Oh, there goes that guy. Um, this burrow is massive, huge, huge. The quantity of dirt they've moved is just ridiculous. But this will be the first time I've kept yearlings outside without supplemental heat. But I can tell you with it getting down into the high 40s, these tortoises out here all did really, really good to where I'm not worried about. We got burrows here. We got burrows up underneath over there. Got a burrow underneath there, which this one I'm especially not worried about because it does go pretty far. But also that heat panel, right on the other side of this wall, that heat panel. And so that heat panel, is gonna probably heat the uh, concrete pad in there a little bit. And these guys are gonna be fine with that little bit of supplemental heat I think they will get. But that's my winter plans, guys. That's how I plan to keep my tortoises warm. Um, I've got some slight changes coming soon. So you guys are gonna have to definitely subscribe because we're gonna need to move all of my het male albino tortoises they're gonna get another enclosure built next to this enclosure, which is just a separate group of sulcatas I have. Um, they're gonna get an enclosure built right up along this side, at least temporarily. Um, but guys, I don't wanna give away too much. Yeah, definitely uh, stick around because we got fun things coming. This female is really just giving me vibes of her wanting to lay eggs. She almost has the trance look in her eyes. And so I'm gonna keep a close eye on this female. She has just laid some massive dumps here today. I'm not gonna say that's a telltale sign of her wanting to lay eggs, but um, she's originally a Florida tortoise. And in Florida, they lay eggs in, start laying eggs as early as October. And she laid for me the first week of December last year. So honestly, she could be right around the corner. So we're gonna keep an eye on her. Eggs may already be happening. My incubator is in my reptile shed there. And it still needs to be cleaned out because I have rotten eggs in there from last season. But I did order another incubator, guys. Super stoked. Same people that make this, the Wilpanks. But 
This new one has a bunch of really, really, really cool features on it that I'm super excited about. Plus, I maxed up the capacity of my incubator last year, so I really wanted to get something new to, to help alleviate that a little bit um, and keep my incubator much more organized and clean. But uh, guys, again, this is my winter abode for my tortoises. I need to get it cleaned out. It's a concrete floor. As we've mentioned in past videos, it's just full of dirt, dust, hay, and poop. But guys, that's gonna be it for me. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Appreciate you watching the video. Click like, subscribe if you haven't done so, so far. Got some banger videos coming to you soon. November's gonna be awesome. We got TTBG coming up um, towards the middle end of Hi. November. Catch you guys next time. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful Halloween. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Oh,